Mud Puppy's secret how gills let it thrive. Can you picture a salamander that spends its entire life submerged in water? It's true. Meet the Mud Puppy scientifically known as Nectarus maculosus, an absolutely remarkable aquatic creature. Unlike most salamanders, they don't venture onto land at all they are permanently adapted to their underwater world. This means they breathe through gills for their entire lives, even as adults. These feathery external gills look almost like elaborate whiskers and allow them to extract oxygen directly from the water, around them a truly extraordinary adaptation. Most amphibians, as they mature, will lose their gills and rely on lungs to breathe air. But the mud puppy is wonderfully different. This fascinating creature keeps its external gills for its entire life a true testament to its aquatic lifestyle. These feathery structures, branching out from either side of its head, are incredibly efficient at extracting oxygen directly from the water. It's like having built-in snorkels, allowing them to thrive in rivers and lakes without ever needing to surface for air. This adaptation is really quite remarkable, setting it apart from many other amphibians. Take a closer look at these feathery structures, their mud puppy gills, and they're absolutely vital for their survival in water. Unlike fish that have gills covered by bony flaps, mud puppies possess external gills, meaning they protrude directly from their bodies. These aren't just decorative, each filament is incredibly delicate and densely packed with tiny blood vessels. This design dramatically increases the surface area available to absorb oxygen from the water essentially. It's like having a huge lung built right into its sides. It's a truly remarkable adaptation, allowing them to thrive in environments where dissolved oxygen can be scarce. Even though the mud puppy spends almost its entire life underwater, it hasn't completely lost its connection to the surface. It retains functional lungs, a fascinating characteristic inherited from its amphibian ancestors. This means that if necessary, perhaps, during periods of low oxygen or stress, a mud puppy can breathe air. You might occasionally see one briefly rising to the water's surface for a quick gulp. But it's far from essential, most of their respiration happens through their skin and gills. Mud puppy survival hinges on a remarkable ability to disappear right before your eyes. Their skin is incredibly dark, almost black, and perfectly suited for life amongst the murky river beds they call home. This isn't just about looking intimidating, it's a masterful form of camouflage. Imagine lying in wait, virtually invisible against the silt and shadows, patiently observing as potential prey swims by. It allows them to ambush unsuspecting meals with incredible efficiency. Equally important, this dark coloration provides crucial protection from predators lurking above, making them incredibly difficult to spot. It's truly remarkable how much variation exists even within a single species like the mud puppy. While we've seen their external features, there's an incredible amount of difference happening internally too. One fascinating example is the number of gills they possess. It's not always consistent across every individual. Some mud puppies have as few as eight, while others can boast upwards of 30. This wide range really highlights the power of genetics and how much diversity can be packed into one group of animals. It's a testament to the ongoing process of natural selection, 
and adaptation within this species. These incredible gills are incredibly sensitive to their environment. Maintaining them requires pristine water quality. Even a slight change in water chemistry can be detrimental. Pollution, unfortunately, poses a very real and serious threat to mud puppy survival. Things like agricultural runoff, industrial waste, or even excessive algae blooms can significantly damage the delicate structures within those gills. This damage isn't just cosmetic, it actively reduces their efficiency, meaning the mud puppy struggles to extract oxygen from the water, impacting its overall health and ability to thrive. Unlike many aquatic animals that rely on simply passively absorbing oxygen from their surroundings, mud puppies have a fascinating way of actively drawing it in. They possess external gills, those feathery structures you see waving behind their heads. And these aren't just decorative, they're constantly moving. Mud puppies rhythmically wave and vibrate these gills generating gentle currents. This movement creates a flow that pulls fresh, oxygen-rich water directly towards them, a truly active process, ensuring a constant supply of the air they need to survive. It's quite remarkable how efficiently they engineer their own micro-environment. It's truly remarkable how some creatures defy expectations, Consider the mud puppy a fascinating aquatic salamander found in North America. What sets it apart is its ability to breathe underwater through functional gills long after reaching adulthood. Most amphibians lose their gills during metamorphosis, transitioning to lungs as they mature. The mud puppy, however, retains these feathery external gills throughout its entire life, a characteristic almost unheard of among amphibians. This retention isn't just unusual, it suggests a unique evolutionary pathway, one where adapting to a completely aquatic lifestyle became paramount, outweighing the benefits of developing typical terrestrial respiratory systems. It's an extraordinary example of how evolution can lead to unexpected and surprising adaptations. The mod puppy's gills aren't just for breathing underwater. They represent a fascinating window into amphibian evolution. Unlike most amphibians that lose their gills as they mature, the mud puppy retains them throughout its entire life, a characteristic known as patamorphosis. These feathery external gills are incredibly efficient at extracting oxygen from the water, and studying their structure reveals clues about how early amphibians transitioned from aquatic to terrestrial life. Scientists can trace evolutionary changes through comparisons with other amphibian species and even gain insights into the genetic mechanisms that govern gill development. Furthermore, the complex architecture of these gills, the way they're structured to maximize surface area for oxygen absorption, is inspiring bioengineers looking to develop new filtration systems or artificial organs. 